Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. So I am in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I am in New York City. I'm here for two weeks and it's already been crazy the two days that I've been here. There's been so much happening and I just love this city. There's so much to do here. Um, today I'm heading to B&H Photo, which is a massive camera store here in, in Manhattan, New York. It's absolutely crazy. It's like five floors of pretty much anything you can ever want when it comes to camera gear. From the high-end stuff to the entry-level DSLRs, they have everything in between, and it's awesome. I'm super excited to go there. I have to get a few memory cards, but I'm just excited to go see all the gear. So I'm gonna take you guys with me there, check that out, then we do some shopping, walk around in Midtown Manhattan a little bit, and then we're gonna finish off the day with a sunset downtown in downtown Manhattan. So Soho or Tribeca, um, the light hits that part of the city in such an amazing way in the afternoon. So I'm super excited to go there and shoot, do some street photography, use the new lens, the new 7200 I got, and just get some cool shots. But enough talking guys, I really want you to see this apartment that I'm staying in here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It was started by an amazing fine art photographer named Ward Roberts, who I've had the privilege of meeting uh, because he's just staying in the other room. He's super talented and he really put so much effort into designing this place and it's amazing. So without further ado, check this place out and then I'll meet you out on the street. things about New York is it's big but it's not big like in terms of the overall distance like it's actually not that big but getting around can kind of be annoying so obviously everyone takes the trains but I started riding these city bikes everywhere and they're so efficient and it's such a nice way to see the city as well because you're riding around on a bike instead of being stuck in a train you know what I mean So these are the bikes, but there's no way I'm bringing this on the bike. So the next footage you'll see is gonna be from the iPhone 11 Pro. than I expected it to be. Maybe I was just going too hard on the bike, but we made it. Now it's time to go check out some cameras. Oh yeah, baby. Turns out that B&H photo is actually closed today. It was open from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., but I got there at like 1 p.m. So uh, yeah, missed out on that. It's a Jewish company and there's a lot of Jewish holidays right now, so it's not going to be open until Wednesday. And it's Sunday right now. But don't worry, I'm going to come back. I'm going to check it out. But until then, I got to find another SD card somewhere. So I'm walking up a couple blocks to another camera store. I'm going to grab an SD card and then just kind of maybe explore Central Park or something like that. Um, but yeah, kind of a bummer, but you know what? It's okay. We'll come back. about New York City is because the buildings are so tall there's always shade in the city and that leads to some really cool lighting scenarios in the middle of the day usually you know you don't want to shoot like 
in the harsh midday sun, which that's not always true. It looks really good for things like street photography, but the light is really harsh. But the cool thing about being in the city is the light reflect, reflects off of the buildings and it just does really cool things and it leads to some really cool photo opportunities despite the weather of the day despite if there's if there's clouds in the sky or if it's raining there's always really cool shots to be had Hey guys, I made it to Greenwich Village, which is where these beautiful houses that you see on like Friends and Sex in the City, that's, this is where they are and they're absolutely gorgeous. And um, the sun is starting to set, so the light is really nice right now. Hopefully I can get some light coming through the streets and hitting these beautiful homes. Um, and hopefully I can get some good shots. I think one of the things you have to think about when you're shooting street photography is, you know, you're not always gonna get the shot that you envisioned. You know, sometimes it's not easy to come across these awesome compositions when the light is hitting them perfectly. You know, especially in a city like New York, the light can change in a matter of minutes. You know, one minute it's awesome and then the next minute it's kind of boring, it's kind of flat. So. Um, you just gotta keep going with it and, and don't get down on yourself if you do miss those shots. <clears throat> with that said, there's some really cool locations where I'm at here um, and the lighting is really interesting too. So I'm getting some good shots, but the composition's a little bit difficult because there's a lot of cars um, and then the, the sun is pretty bright. So the contrast is super high, but we're still getting some really cool photos and overall it's been a really fun afternoon. That is most of the day done. It's like 6.30 p.m. and the sun has pretty much set, so everything in the city is dark. Uh, if I was on the waterfront, it'd be some good lighting, but right now, the city is kind of dark. So I'm gonna go meet my brother at his restaurant here. Uh, he works here in Hell's Kitchen, so really, really good burger shop. So go have a burger, chill out, have some beers, and then maybe make my way home. But I guess we'll see.